Hey guys, I am getting ready to go pick up Isaac right now, and I just did a little Snapchat story, but I never, I didn't save it, so I wanted to um, talk a little bit. I know I've kind of been a little bit more active, and I hope everyone doesn't mind how much I've been posting, but I'm really motivated, and I think that, you know, you guys have been a huge reason for me to be so motivated, and yes, it's a very serious topic, but, like, our lives are very serious, you know what I mean? Um, and I do, you know, funny um, filters, and I love this big mouth filter because it's the fucking best. How is this not the best? Blah, blah, blah. Huh? You know? It's like, my mom hates it. You guys should watch my page when I post things. She fucking hates the big mouth. Anyways, um, so I'm sitting here, and I'm getting pissed off. The reason I'm pissed is because I'm freaking sitting here and my stupid body is telling me I'm hungry. I'm not fucking hungry. Um, I ha woke up and I had that glucose shake. I just posted about it. I had my breakfast that I posted, my, you know, middle of the day breakfast. I'm watching Viceland. It's pretty funny. Um, and I'm sitting here watching this fucking show on Viceland. And it's the um, Taiwan guy, uh, Taiwanese guy. He's touring Taiwan and eating all this amazing, like, beef broth noodle soup and sushi and all these great things. And I'm like, I'm hungry. And I can't figure out what the frig I'm hungry because I'm not actually hungry. My brain is hungry, not my body. This is going to be my number one biggest challenge throughout this whole thing is convincing my brain that I'm not actually hungry after I've eaten. There's a difference between emotional hunger and physical. So, difference between mental hunger, um, look, that includes like emotional hunger, which is a really big reason that I eat when I'm not hungry. Um, I use food and body fat as a barrier. Um, I know that most of you don't really know me, uh, like know me, know me, I guess. Um, a, my goal is to change that because I think that this is like the best group of women and men that I've ever encountered in a fitness, um, in a fitness group. An accountability group, you sh I should say. I mean, um, as you, uh, you know, I used to be a beach body coach, and I ran my own groups. Um, and I was in, I was in groups. Um, this is just a really um, safe place where nobody's selling anything, nobody's trying to get you to buy anything. Um, and that's a huge part of why I'm here and why I'm going to be really plugging in and and being and being uh, upfront and accountable with everybody. Uh, because I think that it's important. And um, so back to getting to know me. Um, I was hurt when I was a little girl. Um, I had people who took advantage of me. And I mean, quite a, you know, a few. There's three or four. Um, and that went from the time I was, you know, really little to like till I was 10 and <clears throat> I put on weight I think to kind of fill a void I, I felt guilty I felt like it was my fault um I was told that it was my fault so it's definitely something I had a lot of um dysmorphia in my brain about what was actually happening I was little I didn't know um, so I turned to food and I began to put walls up and my walls were fat and I'm in a place now where I no longer need the fat suit to protect me and that's why um, I know that this is going to be my year to finally get the weight off. Um, I've been doing a lot of work mentally. Um, and I'm really excited to see. I'm really excited to see where this year takes me. Um, I have you all. I have an amazing um, 
tight knit circle of support here live in my life in flesh and blood. Um, my boyfriend is like my number one supporter. I literally, he's a saint for just being an amazing man. And wow, he's gonna get emotional. I just am finally safe for the first time in my life, and this is going to be my time. This is going to be our time. So that's why I get so pissed when my brain is telling me I'm hungry because I'm not. And it's all bad old habits that have to be broken. And I want you guys to know that you can do it and you have to just persevere. Even if that means making a stupid video on Facebook. Instead of, even if it means making a video instead of turning to the cupboards. Um, I'm learning tons of new tricks and um, distractions. Um, I started, I got a word search book. I started coloring. Um, I've got my, I've, I'm journaling my food, so that takes me some time. Um, I still haven't made the kitchen as safe as it should be or could be. Um, but I'm not working at the moment because I'm on vacation and it's not a paid vacation, which is fine. I just don't feel like I should be tossing anything out or getting rid of anything because I'm <coughs> not the only one that lives here. Um, definitely excited for this group for this year. And I want you guys to know that if you ever need to talk or anything like that, I know what it's like and I'm here for you. So I hope everyone has a great day.